So, without any waste of a time, we are we really have a fantastic episode uh, lined up for you. Yes, we're going to talk about Mikel Arteta. We're also going to talk about more stuff. Alex Ranarsson finally leaving Arsenal. Uh, Brooke Norton Coffee B and C has signed a new deal with Arsenal. Oh my God. I've been waiting for this one. Lots of uh, behind the scenes work. Really, Edu, Bear Matisaka, they're really doing a lot of, lot of work, which I can definitely see. And, you know, it is definitely going to be supremely interesting to, you know, um, explain this to you what's happening. So, without any further ado, the first news is that Brook Norton Coffee has signed his first new contract with the club. Congratulations to him, and I'm pretty much sure. And probably, I think uh, he said that. Uh, uh, what, uh, yeah, there was one quote from his interview which said, "What should be expected from you this season?" He said, "It's gonna be really lit." Oh yes, he's going for the kill, ladies and gentlemen. Brook Norton Coffee. Well, I'm pretty much sure that he's definitely going to get a good amount of game time. But uh, just before there was an article which suggested that he might be going on a loan to a championship club, confirmed by George Bird as well. But so did Brook Norton Coffee himself that he will be going to a championship club on loan. This is this is fantastic. But Jack Talbot has opened up about what is the reality regarding Cody Gakpo. Is he going to Manchester United? So, exclusive from, exclusive from Jake Talbot, he says that Cody Gakpo will most likely be signed by Manchester United, but he represents Eric Ten Hag's third choice in his position. The winger was looked at by Arsenal earlier this month, but interest cooled. Other Premier League clubs are keen too, but the ball in Manchester United scored. PSV say that they want 40 million euros for the winger because they are very happy with Gakpo and they want to sell only for a record deal. He might be the record deal that they could, you know, sell. Um, so, let's see whether they are going to get this done or not Manchester United. But Arsenal are out of the race. The interests have cooled. So, no, Cody Gakpo is not the player Arsenal are looking at at the moment. This solves a lot of questions, but here is one more question on Arsenal's face. Betis know that Bayern wants to come to Betis. They are calm and will get him on a free or a small fee. This is according to uh, Estadio Edi. So let's see. A small fee is what they um, expect Arsenal get would get. So would be interesting if that happens. But moving on, so here's the reality of Jeremy Pino leaving. It's confirmed by Onai Emery that Jeremy Pino is leaving Villarreal. Here's the thing. Uh, we have um, a report coming in from Javi Mata. He says that, Javi Mata Hill says that, um, arrival of Giovanni Lo Celso has been produced by some other exit operations that has not yet been made official. Villarreal have, has several exit operations in progress, such as those of Paco Alcatha, Bull idea, Estupinan, and of course, Estupinian, and of course, Jeremy Pino himself. He says, uh, uh, Jose Lizaraga says that, Jose Luis Lizaraga says that, uh, today Emery said certain things are blocking Los Celso's return, but hours later the player is on his way. It is thought an imminent departure is removing the block. Alcacer, Estupinian, and of course, Jeremy Pino are the names that come to mind. So, Villarreal president himself has said that this, there is departure. He says, uh, Fernando Roig says that I don't know if there are offers for Jeremy Pino, but if I did, I wouldn't say so. What? He says that he would not agree uh, to the news that uh, there are offers for Jeremy Pino. Okay, yeah, that, that means there are offers for Jeremy Pino. It's weird, but okay. Okay, we just... And Unai Emery in his pre-match press conference says that if an offer arrives for players like Jeremy Pino, then he will have to leave. We have a responsibility with the club. It is what it is. So yes, <clears throat> it's true. As Kurt Angle would say, it's true. It's damn true, bro. So Tomiyasu, Tierney and Fabio Vieira were training uh, as well today. And yes, that is actually good news. So Mikel Arteta said, we are trying Fabio Vieira in training in different positions. The player does not want to be locked to one position, so that's really good. And uh, yes, talking about the transfer market, Mikel Arteta said, we are still willing to finalize the squad the way we want. We want to add something great and also want to find solutions for certain players who cannot get game time. So yes, this opens the door for Telemans, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, more players like Ainsley Maitland-Niles who need to go. There are, still, there are still questions on his future as well, so... So, talking about the recovery of Tomiyasu, ML Smithrow and Fabio Vieira, 
Mikel Arteta said, they are all in different phases of comeback. Some of them will be in the squad tomorrow. Tierney is ready to go. So Tierney is ready to go. And how many of you want to see Tierney, baby? Let me know. How many of you will accept Tierney's return? Well, let me know what if you guys are looking at uh, Tierney's return because I, it is going to be supreme, man. It is going to be supreme. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But let's see where we will end up with this whole situation around ah yes but first let us 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 talk about uh, uh another departure and yes it's a reality so uh yes alex ranarson ladies and gentlemen is yes the Icelandic goalkeeper, uh, his deal to Turkey's Alanya Spor has reached the final stage. Now the stage of completing the official procedures between the two clubs is on its way. Well, yes, a flight is being uh, scheduled for the player. That is a report coming in from uh, Ertan Suskun. Suskun, yes. Ertan Suskun says that yes, it is what it is. And uh, Alex Narsen is about to be in Turkey which is interesting so Ma martin oregard has opened up about his miss against crystal palace he says for my chance against palace i was thinking to take a touch a bit more to the left and then i took it to the right instead and i felt the player was more in front of me than he actually was when i saw the clip back i wasn't happy with it but you have to learn from uh, it always improve and hopefully next time i will take this shot and score I know it was a wrong decision, of course. The important thing is that we got the win and we want to carry on our run. So yes, interesting. I think I I I I already forgot about it, but yes, that thing hurts. That thing hurted me. So whatever, whatever. Ha. Huh. We spoke about Telemans, but now we're going to talk about PM Rick Aubameyang coming to Premier League. Yes. Mikel Arteta reacted to it. Yes, he was asked about it. What if Pierre Mikel Aubameyang is coming to play for Chelsea? Because he is also one of the targets for Thomas Tuchel's men. So yes, uh, uh, yes, here's what Mikel Arteta said that he hopes the striker gets a good reception if he does return to the Premier League and the Emirates Stadium. He added that he is grateful for Ober's career and described him as an exceptional player. Graceful in defeat, graceful in loss. Mikel Arteta has got it all. Yes, for now. For now, yes, we 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 believe in this. We definitely believe in this. So with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you see daily Arsenal content, the best place to be. More incomings coming in. The upcoming transfer window is going to be lit, and yes, you guys will be a part of it. So make sure you subscribe and uh, yes enjoy what, what's cooking and of course i will be there giving you all the updates i'll see you in the next one cheers